Hello and welcome to the Path of Darkness, my Star Wars Conquest Sith campaign. Now before I get started I'd like to apologise for the previous video. I realise I spent a lot of time uh, you know, doing stats and such for my companions. Now uh, I realise that can be a bit boring and I'll make sure not to do it in you know to that extent again. It's just that I'd like to show you guys what I'm actually doing. Like each of my companions is going to be serving, you know, a certain purpose, and they're all a part of, you know, this campaign. They're a pretty important part of it. So, you know, I do like to show you that, but uh, I do understand that due to the amount of people that need leveling up, it took, you know, most of the video, and I really do apologise for that. That won't happen again. But uh, anyway, so the situation is, and I and I see a lot of people saying that. Uh, uh, what's the word? What's the person? Uh, the com uh, Mandalorian commando was knocked out. It was actually a commando, for those that don't realise. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's move on. Uh, right now, I need to make some money. Although I do have money in my bank, I want to try and keep it there and let it continue to build interest. Uh, I've actually got a few Sith here that need upgrading. I think I may start upgrading some Mandalorians to snipers to see what that you know what they turn out like. But anyway, I need to get some money, so I think I'm going to head to hut space and just you know fight the huts. I also need to decide where I want to hit next, what planets I want to take. Now, since I'm only at war with the huts at the moment, it may be wise for me to wipe them out before facing the Empire or Rebel Alliance. But I haven't decided yet. And I did have a holocron, which was leveling up my uh, I've got it now, my leadership skill, and I finished reading that, so my leadership's increased by one point, which is very useful. I actually need money down. I think the uh, skiff guards are worth quite a bit, if I'm not mistaken. These Mandalorians do look great. I prefer them though before they get the old style Mandalorian on. I like the, uh, I like that look. That looks pretty cool. Very cool, in fact. Anyway, we captured a few people. I'm gonna take all the items, get them sold. I'm going to keep checking this though because I would like to get my Sith upgraded as soon as I can. See what they turn out like. Alright, so I guess I'm just going to fly around until I can find an enemy lord. I'd like to find my commander for my uh, empire, but uh, I don't know where she's gone so I can't speak to her just yet. I don't think I've fought on Gamor yet, so let's have a quick look. Our units are deployed. No, because they're a patrol, I think most of them are on foot. Oh no, there are some on the ground. Yes, the guy's on the... Guys, actually, on the bikes, probably worth the most, but I'm just gonna get this cannon fodder. It's all adds up at the end of the day. I don't know how I'm missing everyone, even though I'm stationary. Or I'm hitting them and the damage is just not showing. Chasing down the one guy on the bike. Fair enough. 
And done. All these battles, all these battles with the uh, patrols do help in getting some experience to level my folk up, so. Plus, we get a few items here and there that we can pick up and sell. And on that note, I think we need to go find a, a friendly planet we can go sell to. Probably Camino is the closest. Can't actually afford the wages. That's not good. At least not from cash in hand. I'm gonna make sure I keep that stocked up. I only have a few people so far, but they're costing me quite a lot. I suppose I should check, uh, check here though, always on the lookout for another Shadow Guard helmet. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for here, but I reckon I'll know it when I see it. I need to find uh, a uniform, because I do want, I like the idea of having an Imperial agent like an assassin. I just don't know what they'd wear. Fighting the Nova Troopers is always a good idea. Maybe tell my troops to use blood weapons only, make sure we take them alive. Lightning had a better effect like in Jedi Academy or Star Wars Galaxies. Hell, even uh, not Star Republic had a really nice uh, Force Lightning effect. But I understand the technical difficulties in this game to do it. When my Sith Acolytes went down, that's fine though. If he dies fighting old, you know, mere deserters, he's not Sith quality and he's just stupid. I guess I'll take those transition slavers and just stick them on my planet to defend. I'm <laughs> not sure where the Tuscan helmet came from. I'm waiting to see what a Sith Knight looks like and what they can be upgraded to. We were heading to Tatooine, so we might as well continue there. See what we can find on the planet. Oh. So who is that? That's Rogunga. I'm going to have to aid the Empire in this particular fight, but uh, can't be helped. Is everyone stuck? That doesn't look Are good if that is the case. Fight? The planet looks a bit buggier than the last time. This is a really cool battlefield, you know, a lot of sand dunes. 
Makes it hard to have perfect line of sight on the enemy. I like it. Alas, we gotta find the enemy first. to the center of the mass so you can take prison. Let me kill the rest. Oh wow, this isn't like hills. Probably should stay here and help fight. Taking no prisoners. I wish you got rid of that blade slashing the sound. I like not using my shield just because when I block, you get that nice lightsaber blocking sound. Which is very nice indeed. There's one animation I really like. Let me see if I can find it. That spins the lightsaber in his hand. Maybe it's not need me for one handed. There we go. Nice little twirl of the hand. I'm not really required here. Oh, these guys are mine. See rancors coming, that can't be good. Jump away. Give some space to fight. We will kill that droid instead. I think how much damage those things do. And these are only babies. Nothing a good lightsaber can't handle. Disappoint me, apprentice. After these, uh, there really needs to be a force speed in the game. Come on, one guy left, go after him. Okay, that's a weird way for the vehicle to break. Good job, though, good job. There's more of them. I had stored all my troops to attack. One of my Sith acolytes died. Probably deserved it though. Alright, let's take some prisoners. Just what I wanted. 
Alright, let's go sell all this junk. Did any of my Sith level up yet? No. At least, not the ones I'm after. I can't imagine what they're going to be like, because you know how fast Jedi move when they're, you know, a Jedi Grandmaster moves, because you've seen it in my original playthrough. They move with such speed. It is very, very <laughs> scary almost, just because they're so quick. Ah, no helmet. Oh well. One can hope. Okay, so let's have a look at the gear here. There's like Shadow Scout Trooper armor. It looks kind of weird. Maybe Robust Mandalorian Soldier armor might be a possibility. Black Sun armor, I don't know. I'm just trying to find a nice look for my agents. My agents. The respirator does look weird. I know a few people have asked me to wear one, but it looks too weird for my liking. Hopefully there's a slave trade around here, otherwise I'm going to have to head somewhere else. Oh dear, okay. We need to head to, I reckon the Trade Federation, see what they can hook us up with. How's our money doing now? 5,000, that's nice, we're making it back. I could just deposit all this money in my bank as well. That's always a possibility. Yeah, skiff guards are worth quite a lot. Thing is, I don't plan on being beaten, so having the money on me isn't really much of a problem. So. What else does the illegal weapons merchant sell exactly? Just weapons, okay. Alright, well, I, I'm in the position to purchase like better weapons and stuff for my companions, but right now I do want to sort of equip them with, you know, armour and whatnot, so I may look around and see if we can get all their armour done first and then we'll get the weapons. I cannot... Okay, so I guess I'm at war with the rebels as well, apparently. Very odd. I wasn't expecting that just yet. declaring war upon them just yet. But apparently we are, okay. I'm not sure when this happened, but the rebels apparently want a piece of us. All of the Empire are friendly at the moment. Maybe it's because I saved the Empire, I don't really know. I don't really know. What I do know is I'm going to head back to Raxus Prime soon, well, Zyos, and recruit some more Sith and check on the progress of my uh, Rancor pit. Oh, but it looks like first I found a... There's a fight there I can jump in and I could possibly capture Boba Fett, Nizuk, Gartog and Jubnuk. I don't know how it works in the original Mountain Blade, such as will people switch factions. If someone could answer me that, that would be great. But like, if I have a high relation with Boba Fett, is there a chance that he may join faction, you know, switch factions? Because that would be awesome if it was, if it was the case. Anyway, uh, I'm going to quickly join this tournament, I guess. Go ahead and make some money. Plus, show everyone the prowess of Sith Lord. Okay, maybe not. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, Jesus. How on earth do I get down without breaking my legs or face? Or... Okay. <laughs> what am I fighting on? No, I'm not. 
dead. That's a bonus. Oh my guys win anyway. Very interesting arena. Still on the ground this time. I'm just hoping whoever I fight doesn't get stuck up there. I used to be so careful when doing this because my, st no, my stats were so low. I couldn't do much damage, and uh, now I can take the whole team. See, I inspire everyone around me to get angry and fight. as well. That would be cool. Blade aimed for the Moncal or the Transition? I guess the Moncal. It's a very quick tournament. which is a nice chunk of money. Anyway, make sure you join me next time as we uh, decide to do battle with Boba Fett and his cronies. So until then, thank you for watching.